The ministry did some work with the, with the community and they decided on the junior um, junior school, senior school model, which means that the junior school starts at year seven. Um, and so they go seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the senior school starts at year 11. So we have the students just for three years. Um, the students come to us when they're around about 15, 15, 16, 17, and then some of them are turning 18. It's a young adult place. You know, and I think there's a huge advantage and opportunity in that. And it's an opportunity to treat students as young adults, to actually get them to see themselves in the world, like, like moving into the, to the next stage. You know, we really want to know where every kid goes. We don't want to leave anything to chance when the students leave us. Our principal, Barbara Kavanagh, she always says she has this, this saying that we haven't pulled anything out of our heads. We, haven't, we aren't just trying this stuff. It's actually based on really solid, cutting-edge research about what works in schools. We know that learning things just off paper and memorising inert knowledge is a waste of time. It doesn't work. You actually need to enact it. You need to know it in your bones. In order to do that, you need to do project-based work. You need to do work that you're passionate about, that you're engaged in, that you've personally got stuff invested in. We know that. The research shows that. And yet, in schools, we see very little evidence of that. Quite often, you'll still see desks lined up in a row. When you work into the, or walk out onto the street and, and see the world out there, the businesses that are operating, the organisations that are really high achieving at the cutting edge of, of pushing New Zealand forward as a, as a country, their desks are not lined up in rows. They're working with teams, they're doing really exciting, passionate things. We as a school need to do more stuff like that. We both love oh, yeah. long periods at school because you get 100 minutes instead of 50, so you get to do a whole lot more stuff. And I, like I really enjoy the freedom of what you want to do, especially in impact projects. I like how we boys got um, chances to do NCA standards whenever we need to, so if we are missing out on a few credits, we can just catch up on them. The new curriculum asks for students to be confident, um, uh, connected, lifelong learners, and, that's the, and we're trying to honour that in our curriculum. We've developed up a, a curriculum that we believe reflects the new curriculum developed by the Ministry for the new era, um, for the 21st century. So all the things that we're doing, our, our idea of being respectful of students, um, researching the background, understanding their learning, and also being responsive to their needs, we feel that that develops up that whole idea of, of developing those learners. What I love about this place is that I think people are allowed to bring who they are to their learning and we encourage that. We want people to bring their passions, we want them to bring their identity and they want, we want them to build and grow from that. Um, we know that um, we have as much to learn from our students as they have to learn from us and we want to give them space to, to make that contribution with us. I think Albany is good because it gives you a chance to express who you are and I think lots of schools restrict you in that way because they're so They've been around for a long time and they're kind of set in their ways. And um, Albany being a new school and kind of working on a new model and stuff, we're kind of creating the tradition. So I think we're really lucky that our school's so open to us kind of being who we are. I've been here for two years. I know what the outline's like for all of my subjects and things like that. The teachers are pretty good. And they'll give us an opportunity to think about our work and like create it in our own terms and things like that. So yeah, so it's really... It's pretty cool. The tutorial program um, happens twice a week. We meet with our students uh, for 100 minutes on Tuesday, 100 minutes on Thursday. A group of 15 or 16 students, and those are students from year 11, 12 and 13. So they're vertical. We've got experts in NCEA who can mentor and guide the, the newcomers to NCEA. We've got students who have um, taken a range of different subjects who can advise it. We meet together in spaces like these and we come together. We'll normally do some structured activities at the start so that the tutor has a lesson that's planned and that might be around raising critical thinking skills or raising literacy skills or speaking skills. And then what we'll do is become very responsive to the needs of the students. So over the second half of the tutorial, we routinely uh, work one-on-one -on -one with the students, identifying those learning needs and actually working to, to, to put in place strategies to meet those needs.
One awesome opportunity about tutorials is that we can really get students working together collaboratively, talking to each other, um, having a bit of fun, but all for the purpose of learning. Um, and so we're trialling um, getting my group and Rachel's group working together um, and just trying out some really different study strategies because it's one thing that kids really need to learn while they're at school is what study strategies work for them for when they get into the real world. The tutorial is really based on the, the research about the importance of relationships in, in learning and education, so knowing the students really 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 well so we do a lot of discussing and talking with the students and interviewing them getting to know them really well um, finding out what's going well for them what's not going well so we spend a lot of time actually just talking to them and then working with them to put in place goals and strategies and plans which we then revisit further down the track. We set goals for ourselves and our tutor teachers really help us to strive for our best and achieve what we really want to get to like our <laughs> grades and stuff so yeah like yeah. Uh, last year my goal was to excellence endorse the NCA level 2 which um, takes 50 excellence credits and I managed to get 60 which is really good yeah my goal was to get merit endorsed which is 50 merit credits and I managed to get that as well. I like how independent you are at the school and how um, all the learning here is student driven so you can tailor your learning and what you do in school to your needs and if you find a subject isn't what you need or isn't relevant to you or useful to you, you don't have to do that subject and you can really focus on what you need for your career and your interests and stuff and it's really good. On Wednesday, because it is student driven and student directed and they, students are taking control of their own learning, there has to be a lot of structure and support around this because we have to know that it is very focused and driven and that um, students don't lose their momentum. Students can, if it is appropriate, um, choose to do NCA standards in this time and we have had students who have um, been involved in environmental or um, education sustainability standards working above the level that they perhaps would be working in their normal classes. Um, so there are many ways that um, we can make sure that students are really working towards something that's very important and that they value and that their parents value. The thing I like the most about the school is um, the opportunities they opportunities give students um, in extracurricular fields like vocal tuitions, which um, I've been very lucky to store a scholarship for this year. I really like the, um, the focus on students being responsible for their own learning. Um, here we expect the students to be responsible for themselves, to come to us with problems. Um, we're very, very supportive as a staff and there's a very a big sense of collegiality here at the school um, across all levels and we're non-hierarchical and we expect the kids to be like that as well. So it's a very friendly place. I think as an arts-based subject it really enhances the creativity. So on days like Impact Project Day, students really feel they can go to staff for help. There is that extra relationship going on there that it, it's not isolating, it is all encompassing. The other thing about Impact Project Days is that it allows staff to uh, work with their passions as well in and out the classroom. So it allows another relationship, it gives it another faculty. One of the things I like the most about this school is the uh, teacher-student relationships. It just makes learning and education and learning what you want to do just a lot more easier for everything. When you respect your teachers more, you sort of get more out of them because you are willing to lis listen to them and listen to what they're If you so. like your teacher, then you're going to listen to what they're saying to you and stuff. So, like, of course you're going to learn more, so, yeah. What's really good about Albany Senior is the fact that we do have so much flexibility in terms of time and space. You know, the open classrooms, the way that they work is quite contrary to what you'd believe. You know, you'd expect going into these that they'd be really loud and it'd be difficult to hear what was going on. Students would have trouble actually focusing on work, but it works quite differently. In fact, I think students are more respectful given that they have got other classrooms going on that they do bring the noise level down. Teachers that come into this environment are really surprised at just how well it does operate. You're surrounded in other adults, other teachers. Um, you're not in a little enclosed box where the the students come in and um, and create their own atmosphere. Here it's so transparent and I think that, that 
has the effect where the students start acting like they're in a work environment. They can't behave in a young way. The teachers aren't really spoon feeding you, they're like preparing you for uni university and things. It's very easy to talk to your teachers about what they think the best idea would be for your learning and it's a lot more flexible when it comes to students' strengths and students' weaknesses, which is I think a lot better, especially when you're working with NCEA. Anybody who's talking about education at the moment and teaching and learning says that it's the relationship between the teachers and the students that is key to learning, that's absolutely key. So as a group of teachers we talk about that a lot and work hard on that. Some other things that I really like about the school, the first name basis that we have with the students, um, I wonder what that was going to be like. Was it going to be detrimental to our relationships? But in fact, the students have to step up and look at you in the eye and actually they um, call you by your name. Um, and so it's, yeah, it makes a, for a really mature relationship right from the word go. Teachers here like to be on a first name basis instead of a Mr or a Mrs or a Miss, which is very good as well because it doesn't seem to formal like we're in a school it's as if they're trying to teach us what it's like to be in the outside world in the work industry which is what I think high schools need to be doing. Both of us are year 13 students and we've been here since uh, 2009 the first year um, and I feel I've definitely benefited from the style of learning and having open plan impact projects and a lot of time to develop my own passions and um, I feel like it, there's less rigidity in the school so I can do like I've still got um, all the conventional school mm. stuff, but there's more freedom for me to actually explore what I want to do in life. And I think the big thing is learning that if you have something you really enjoy, joy, you can actually just take it and run with it. It just allows you to get a lot more quality learning in there, you know, a lot more uh, quality activities, allowing students to have the time to actually work through stuff themselves, rather than having this, you know, 50 minute or one hour period where you have to push information through, really cram it into them and, you know, kind of provide it to them. Now we have the time to actually allow students to find stuff out for themselves. It requires me to be really planned. There is no way that you can wing a 100 minute lesson. Um, so it does mean that you do have a very comprehensive lesson plan and you know exactly what you want to teach and why you're teaching it. The teachers here are a lot more informal, like we know them as their first names, more of our mentors and friends than teachers that we have to deal with every day and it just helps us build better relationships with them and allows us to learn better, especially for myself. Yeah, it's cool like that. I find like you learn quite a lot more when there's your friend rather than just like someone that will punish you. It's really cool. Now it's really interesting, we're in this amazing building that cost huge amounts of money and it's one of, the, one of the best education institutions in the country and you ask the students about what makes this a great school and they'll say it's not the building at all, it's actually the relationships with the teachers. The teachers knowing them really well and caring about them as people, caring about them as, as learners. So we get a huge amount of feedback from parents about, and, and from students about the, the quality of that relationship and the, the relationships and the importance of them. I used to not really enjoy school but seeing as I've been here I've become like getting excellence in Boston and all that sort of stuff so yeah it's a really cool different school. And I like the school because your teachers are more of your friends rather than your enemies. I think the key thing really is knowing our students. I, you know, I feel I've got a good um, relationship with each of the students I teach and that I can um, I can imagine what's going to work for them, where they might be in the future and you know what things are going to be challenging for them. I think that they know that I'm here because I want to help them and I expect that they're here because I want to learn and you know that's, that forms a really good basis for a strong learning relationship. If you're enjoying it then you're going to want to come and going to want to get involved in everything you're learning about so we definitely advocate fun. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm excited about is the confidence that I see in these young people. And I'm hearing that from parents too, that, that parents are excited by the fact that their students are talking about themselves and are confident about who they are and are developing that side of themselves that says that I'm important, that I matter in this world. And it's not just about things that I know, it's not just about the um, IQ thing, like that, that's, that's something that's very special, obviously. But it's also about 
that um, ability to um, think about other people in the world and think about themselves and how they fit with other people. Students here are going to be going out into a world where they're going to be um, defining their own jobs and working in quite different ways and we wanted to make sure that we help them to be able to be in control of themselves in that world and be confident and go out and do what they wanted to do. If you want people to look at you as someone older and someone capable, you want to come here. It's a really good school. And you have got a mean tuck shot. Yeah. So good. And we're here. Yeah, we're here. You should come.